I'm Jim Dunlap, the CIO at Kendra Scott. I'd say the role of the CIO has really begun to change over the course of the last five years, dramatically, where I think companies are looking for an entirely different skill set. A CIO is expected to be a complete and equal business partner with any other part of the business. In the past, it was really more about managing the architecture and the infrastructure and sort of making sure the trains run on time. In this day and age, I think more and more responsibility for the customer experience, that digital interaction between the physical store and the e-com environment is a requirement. Business skills are also becoming a, a must. I have to be able to read the P&L, read our company's financials. I have to be able to talk fluidly about return on investment. Um, I have to think creatively about how we fund investments. And so I think the skill sets become less about hardcore technology and coding uh, and much more about how the business of technology takes place. I think it's becoming more common for CIOs to have multiple roles throughout an organization where they're not always in the technology track and just move up in leadership throughout that organization, maybe have some integration with the finance organization or get moved around throughout the company to where they have a broader set of skills and more perspective around um, where technology plays a role throughout the company and how to be that bridge between the business and technology in a way that you'll never receive just by sitting at your desk. It is very complicated for one technical individual to know all the environments that exist. So, you know, there are people that are specialized in architecture and infrastructure and security, and then those that specialize in the applications that actually, you know, customers and people interact with. Um, I think their job is more to be that sort of chief architect to understand the landscape of what's out there and how it all works together uh, so that they can advise on directional strategy, that they can advise on solving complicated problems, and that they can uh, advise on how to more effectively future-proof the organization. But you have to have a blend of both. And so in every company that I've been in, I have had someone in a chief technology role where they sit right at the table with me. I don't attempt to make technology decisions. I may make the final decision, but it's always with counsel coming from those that know those areas much better. And those are the people that, you know, frankly, I keep closest to me. Being a CIO is becoming an ever more rewarding job. Um, in the past, CIOs were really sort of kept to the back rooms where all the technology things sat. Um, in this day and age, my role is literally everywhere that we interact with a customer. Whether that's at a factory where we make jewelry, whether it's in our distribution center, or whether it's in one of our stores or online. And it's just become so much more of a rewarding experience to see the breadth of the company end to end, not just from a technology and infrastructure perspective, but from a business perspective.